Welcome everyone, this is Zozo Stockwatch, and this is your Stockwatch list for July 24th, Monday. As you can see, the futures are basically flat. The NASDAQ futures down four, the S&P futures are flat, and the Dow futures on Sunday night are up about half a point. So let's go ahead and we'll get right into the watch list. Uh, here's your SPY for the week, closing uh, you know, up near the highs, holding the five EMA. So the SPY remains strong, and the QQQ, remains even uh, stronger holding that 5 EMA on the daily chart and I go more in depth on this on the let's get ready uh, for the week ahead video so uh, you can look at that under my uh, videos all right first stock on my watch uh, is CLRB uh, not much volume but you know 500,000 shares but and then there's noticing in this market anything can happen so we did have a volume pop here on a Friday in CLRB so we're looking for that uh, maybe 175 break, but it is stuck below the 200 SMA. Just keep that in mind on the name. CNBX, um, looking for a break up through $1.50. Uh, another one with over 500,000 shares traded Friday. So keep an eye on that. EKSO, 1.2 million shares traded uh, Friday. Nice pop in the name. So maybe over $1.80, $1.75 on EKSO. <clears throat> ENPH, uh, looking for that 90 cent break, and then maybe we'll get the dollar continuation in ENPH. 1.2 million shares traded on that name. Uh, ENTA, uh, for this one, we're looking for the high of the day to get taken out on Friday, which was 37.60. So over 37.60, maybe we'll get a continuation up through 38 on ENTA, a biotech name. Uh, light on the volume though, only 158,000 shares traded in the name, so just be aware of that. Uh, EYEG, uh, trying to you know hold this support here at around dollar 25, looking for it to take out maybe a dollar 45, and then a continuation move. Once again, light volume on Friday though, only 300,000 shares traded, but it is trying to you know hold and base this support here, and um, you know starting to turn up. Not a favorite though. GBT, uh, this one uh, over $30 uh, could get going. It had a high on Friday, 30.15, so over that 30.15 spot, 800,000 shares uh, traded, and on GBT, GSIT, nice pop. Uh, only 85,000 shares traded though, but once again, anything can happen in this market. So look for the highs of 823, 825. So over that 825 spot, maybe uh, you know a semiconductor name, maybe it starts to get some uh, follow through and some volume coming in. You see a big volume pop here. So uh, we'll see if this one can uh, do the same again. HALO, uh, 1353 was the close. 1362 the high over 1365 for possible uh, trade in this name and maybe even possible swing trade you see how it's holding this 13 area on HALO and uh, biotechs were very strong uh, this past week let's see if biotechs can continue and let's see if this HALO can continue up uh, HEAR uh, only 200,000 shares traded but uh, one of these below one dollar stocks uh, you know, trying to maybe make a move up here. So uh, not a favorite, but you keep that one on watch. IMDZ, uh, looking for the $10 uh, break again. We had the high of 1025, maybe 1015 is enough to get this going up through 1025, or you can wait for, uh, you know, the 1025 to get taken out. Uh, IMDZ traded, uh, you know, almost 300,000 shares Friday. Not huge volume, but is starting to, you know, turn up. So keep that one on watch. INSM, uh, this one, you know, could, if it can get over 1750, over 800,000 shares traded in INSM. So looking for that 1750 takeout and uh, see if we get a continuation move. IPWR, uh, 1.6 million shares traded in the name. Looking for that 265 to get taken out. Uh, this is the 150 SMA. Nice candle on Friday. Let's see if this one will give us a continuation on IPWR. Uh, JD, uh, this one coming up and has a high on Friday, 43.24. So over that 43.25, maybe we get a continuation move in uh, JD. And this one is, you know, partially owned by uh, Walmart. 
in that battle against uh, Amazon. It's holding above all the fast moving averages. Um, it came down to the 50 SMA here and um, bounced and now we're starting to turn back up above the 5 EMA. So JD might be interesting this week. Uh, KTOV, big pop on Friday, 2.4 million shares. We'll watch this one on an intraday chart. NUAN, a uh, nice pop off the lows here. This is the 300 SMA moving average, the orange line you see here. And we'll call that around 16.25. So uh, we'll see how this wants to set up. 5.4 million shares traded. NVCR, uh, looking for it to come out of this... Um, you know, uh, basing pattern here and looking for maybe over 1905, uh, 1910 was the high on Friday and 1.2 million shares. See if this one can, uh, you know, start making a move up over that 19, 1910 area NVCR. Uh, PLUG, if you don't know about the news, uh, this one, Walmart, I guess, made an investment. Amazon also has made an investment in PLUG. So uh, let's see if this one can take out that 250 again or maybe a red to green move on PLUG. Uh, normally not a great intraday trader, just keep that in mind. But, um, you know, 30, over 31 million shares traded. So uh, we'll see what that wants to do. PXLW, uh, nice daily chart setting up here. We had a high on Friday, 511. So over that 511 uh, volume, uh, 275,000 shares. Uh, PXLW so more of a swing trade type of name and you could probably use you know a break of say 480 as your stop out on this name semiconductor name so maybe some of these smaller semiconductor no name semiconductor names are going to start uh, turning up so PXLW might uh, want to you know make a move RCII uh, you know fighting with this 13 area here so if we can clear 13 on uh, rent a center uh, 1.2 million shares trade of Friday. Uh, so watch this one if it can take out that 13. There is a resistance spot here, you know, previously at 13. And uh, we were just under it at 12.89 on Friday. So we'll see if this one wants to make a continuation move. Uh, Sprint starting to turn back up above the fast moving averages. You see it held the green line, the 200 SMA here and all throughout. So now let's see if they want to turn this back up. Uh, I don't know if it's true, but there were rumors that Warren Buffett was uh, doing something with Sprint. I'm not sure if that's uh, totally true. Uh, it had a high Friday, 8.59. This is a slow trader, so this would be more of a swing trade, 9.3. It's a very heavy stock, um, so, you know, keep your eye on Sprint. TEAR was just tearing it up. TEAR was tearing it up on uh, Friday. Uh, you know, got over this 350 spot, got as high as, what, 375. So I'll watch this one for maybe a red to green move on uh, Monday uh, or some type of intraday setup and, uh, you know, 21 million shares. So you can't ignore that 21 million shares in uh, TEAR. Next one up is TXMD. See, it's basing and trying to get above this 200 SMA. The 200 SMA is at 575. For me, I would let it clear the 575 spot. Uh, eight point, I'm sorry, 3.1 million shares traded on Friday. So I think if it can get over, you know, the high on Friday, 578, 575, uh, maybe we get a continuation move. There was a previous high here on uh, June 22nd. And that was at uh, 597. So just be aware of that. And then, you know, possibly the break of $6. Uh, USAT, uh, this one, nice volume, uh, Thursday and Friday, 1.2 million shares Friday. It's had a nice push up. So we'll see if we can get this to, you know, pull back a little bit. The low on uh, Friday was 510. So maybe if it could pull back to 525, uh, USAT might be interesting. VCYT, uh, looking for this to take out the 100 SMA, maybe um, on this one, the 100 SMA is at 834, so it would have to get over 835 for a possible continuation move. You know, not much volume in the name, so, but if it does clear that, you know, volume can come in on these names. VIAV, looking for this one to, um, you know, continue. Uh, we had the high on Friday of um, 1125. Uh, almost 4 million shares traded, so keep your eye on this one. It's back above the 50 SMA communication equipment, um, VIAV. So maybe a continuation move in this name. Uh, next one up is VVUS. 
trying to get up over that $1.25, 1 1.1 million shares traded. So uh, we'll see if this one can continue up through $1.25. The high on Friday was $1.26. So over $1.26, maybe it gets moving. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, next to the last one up is uh, three uh, is uh, WSTL 325 seems to be the uh, resistance level here over that 325. This is another communication equipment stock. Um, only 61,000 shares traded in the name though. So WSTL, that's the only drawback on that one. But the chart is setting up nicely. And um, I've seen other charts like this set up and then the volume will come in. So it might be interesting to watch that one. XGTI, uh, you know, nice moves here. Got finally got up through the 200 SMA, and uh, you know now trying to get back over that 250. For me, I would like a pullback maybe to the 200 SMA or the five EMA, the white dotted line you see here. But um, you know the chart is looking nice. Just maybe a little bit of a pullback. 1.8 million shares traded Friday uh, on the name. Uh, so this has been Zozo Stock Watch. This is your Stock Watch list for Monday, July 24th. It's a very busy week ahead with earnings, economic information, and whatnot. So um, check out my Let's Get Ready for the Week Ahead video, and you'll be uh, well informed. And have a great week trading. Um, I put out a stock watch list each night. So the, if you don't like this stock watch list, there'll be another one coming up on Tuesday evening. Have a very nice uh, rest of your weekend. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for your subscribing to the channel. And uh, see you around Twitter and StockTwits.